For Bally Singh, everything is going up. The cost of fish, oil, electric and gas. And now this. These were the traditional foam cups that we used to use for our curry sauce, mushy peas and our gravy. And these are the new cardboard ones. By law, he has to swap, costing him nearly a thousand pounds a year. I agree with the change. We need to be more sustainable to look after our, our planet. Um, but it is a lot for us because it's a small business. We've got to make a change so quick. It's, it's all of a sudden. Um, there's not. I don't feel that there's a lot of um, variety out there that we can choose from. From tomorrow, certain types of polystyrene food containers and cups and single-use plastic plates and cutlery are banned in England. It follows a similar move by Scotland last year. A ban in Wales comes in soon. England uses 2.7 billion items of single-use cutlery every year, most of which are plastic. If all that cutlery was lined up, it would stretch around the world more than eight and a half times. The average person uses 37 single-use pieces of cutlery and 18 single-use plastic plates every year. Plastic pollution takes hundreds of years to break down, damaging oceans, rivers and land. The Westminster government has already banned plastic straws, stirrers and cotton buds. The carrier bag charge has taken billions out of circulation. But the recent changes to when the UK will hit net zero targets has infuriated environmentalists. You can't tackle the climate crisis without tackling the plastic crisis. And so along with all of the other really disappointing announcements that we heard from the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, we were also disappointed to hear more delays around recycling reforms as well, because this is a really crucial part of tackling the climate crisis and addressing our addiction to single-use plastics. While pre-packed food is exempt from the ban, there'll be incentives for producers to use packaging that can be recycled. The government is also looking at measures to reduce the littering of other plastics, like wet wipes. Lisa Dowd, Sky News.